to Let's sing. Let's go Meals and Mansion to the Scott List, dude. Let's go, everyone. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jason Baker from Listed and you're watching Meals and Mansions, a show where we visit iconic neighborhood restaurants around New York City and then try to recreate that dish in a luxury kitchen. Today we're here in Union Square. It's a really vibrant area that for some is the delineating line between uptown and downtown. Let's go check out the Union Square Market. We're here at Boucherie, one of my favorite French brasseries in the entire city. Chef Dominic Pepe makes one of the most amazing duck confits you ever had. And also they have an amazing holiday decor. It's really one of my favorite spots in the holidays. Let's go check it out. So we're here at Boucherie, one of my favorite French brasseries in the city with corporate chef Dominic Pepe. And we're gonna try one of my favorite dishes. He does a lot of good duck dishes but the duck confit here is really exceptional. So being a traditional staple of any brasserie restaurant, well, we keep it on year round, but obviously we change the accoutrements to fit the seasons. So it being uh, December, almost Christmas time, we have a heavier application. We have roasted potatoes, a mix of mushrooms, including, including beech, uh, white trumpet, and shiitake. And then we also exactly. fold in some caramelized onions. Um, and then we finish that with, uh, with a bordelaise sauce. So you have the texture of the crispy duck on top of this almost mushroomy ragu and the richness of the red wine. It just literally sounds like the perfect winter dish. It does. It, it warms the inside uh, while you're eating outside. Union Square Market being so close, we can literally change it weekly, if not daily, if we want to. It's got to be an amazing resource for you guys for fresh ingredients. It is amazing. And it's also, it, it gives back to the community, which uh, the Bushery concept, all of our locations, um, including our new Midtown location, we really care about our carbon footprint and we care about giving back to the community so we locally source as much as we can. So we have a butcher, we have an inside butcher, a homemade charcuteries, and we really wanted to turn a butcher shop into a dining experience. Holding on to those traditions that butcher hold on to is, is close monitoring of the animal, its feed, and its carbon footprint. Those are important values to us as a, as a company. We use beautiful duck breast, um, the Margay, uh, and that application is done with Swiss chard and um, candied shallots and red wine and done with a really nice duck jus because we save all the boons. Oh my God. Boons. Yeah. So there's zero <laughs> the waste. Juice is always the, the, there's the zero waste best. in any ap application we try. Again, going back to um, the ethical treatment of the animals. Can you tell me just a little bit about the traditional uh, French preparation of like a duck confit? Like just the quick recap of the steps that go into it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we have a, we have a Mulder duck breast pin confit. It's, uh, it's salt cured for about 24 hours, removed, and then confit in uh, duck fat. We remove it, and then on the pickup, we're gonna add a little uh, oil to sear up the skin. We're in December, so this uh, we have year-round duck breast. We keep uh, confit year-round, but we change the, gar the garnishes. So we have uh, caramelized onion, roasted potatoes, and um, a mixed mushrooms, and there are beech and uh, royal trumpet and white button. So this is the, the set for the winter dish. We'll always have a confit, and then this, sub, this winter set, this, and um, a nice border lace. So while this is going, it's gonna, have some, it's gonna pick up some nice color. It's already been confit, so it's beautiful, soft textures. Again, this is a Hudson Valley duck. Um, it's from the Mauler breed, so it's a bigger, it's a larger bird. Uh, you can find this in Union Square Market uh, right up the road. I mean, this is a three-day process before it gets to your plate. It's amazing. I mean, you can just see how crispy this is. It really is just amazing. You kind of just see how easy this really pulls apart. And I'm excited to try like with... Pulled pork, I would say, on it in texture. And I love the rich ingredients that you guys have put into the winter version of this dish now. Well, that's why, like I said, we'll have it on yearly. It's just, and it allows us to always focus on perfecting the confit. Unreal. It's and just, I wish you guys could taste this. The, richness of the winter sauce like i'm gonna go to sleep right after trying this but it really is just so perfectly executed yeah, and consistency i mean that's what as any chef we strive for is consistency anybody can do something great once but it's about doing that when you have 300 people all right dom well thank you so much for having me literally a really good friend of mine for a long time so excited to see your continued growth and success in this industry and 
you gotta come try this duck confit. It really is one of the best in the city and not to mention this just insanely gorgeous holiday atmosphere that you guys curate at all of your restaurants. It is the best holiday date spot in New York. Thank you, Jason, I appreciate it. And like you said, we are, we, we are friends, but beyond that, um, we've gone to respect each other a great deal and I respect what you're doing. So uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. Cheers. You guys really have to try that duck confit, an amazing meal at Boucherie as always. Next, we're gonna go check out Bread's Bakery, one of my favorite dessert spots in the entire neighborhood, and try their chocolate babka, which is world renowned, and also see how it's made. We just wanna make sure that we have enough desserts on the table for the entire listed family. We're here with Idan, the head baker for Bread's Bakery, one of the top bakeries in all of New York City, and one of their most famous items is their chocolate babka. For me, it's something that you bring to a holiday meal that you become the star of the show for bringing it. Hey Don, do you wanna tell me a little bit about uh, the process of making the babka here? And in a little bit, we're gonna go see how they do that. Yeah, so um, we start off with a, a laminated dough or a yeast dough. So mm -hmm. Obviously it has yeast and it needs time to rise. Uh, we laminate that dough and we make hundreds if not thousands of these every day. For us, you know, once we laminate that dough, and lamination is the process of engulfing butter into a dough and giving mm -hmm. it a series of folds. Um, after that, we, we sheet it out, we spread some Nutella on it, uh, some chocolate chips, just to kind of counter the sweetness of the Nutella. Roll it up into a roulade, shape it into individual pieces, and then we just proof them and bake them all day long, literally. The entire idea was to create something that is very abundant um, and with very top quality products uh, as fresh as possible every day. So our goal is to bake smaller batches throughout the day all day long yeah. so that a customer walks in at 5 p.m. and gets a very fresh babka or a very fresh rugula. Um, and that's that's really our goal and it takes a lot of effort to do that. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely worth it. I think the spirit of New York and like really bringing everybody together and helping each other, that sense of community is really what uh, makes New York so special. All right, today we're gonna be cooking roast duck. A lot of people traditionally cook uh, turkey or chicken or a ham for the holidays, but duck is one of my favorites and it's because of the fat content and the crispy skin. The next step that's very important is to perforate the skin so the fat can seep out while it cooks in the oven. Cover the duck inside and out in a spice rub that we've made with just salt, pepper, and smoked paprika. And again, just get a little bit inside there as well. And you really wanna rub it all in for extra flavor. And the last little thing you wanna do here is just tie up the legs. The resting rack will allow the air to circulate so you get crispier skin all around. All right, let's put this bad boy in the oven. Here we go. We got some beautiful melee ranges, double wall oven ranges here in this beautiful apartment. All right, we've got the duck in the oven now at 425 degrees. We're gonna wait 45 minutes before giving it a quick flip. With duck confit, you wanna use the uh, duck legs here. So we're gonna put them in a casserole slash baking dish. And now we're gonna layer them and completely submerge the duck legs in duck fat. Might just be easier to just pour it all on there. So one of the luxuries when you're making duck is you have so much amazing duck fat to work with and duck fat potatoes are one of the most amazing byproducts of cooking with duck. They have a really crispy outside from the duck fat and the oils and they have a very fluffy inside because you're partially boiling them before putting them in the oven. All right, so moment of truth, time to take this baby out. Let's see how this duck looks. Oh my God, look at that skin. Look at this beautiful crispy skin. Here we go. It's a beautiful bird. Look at that. So the roasted duck and now duck confit. Look at how perfectly fall off the bone tender that is. 
Alrighty, we got the whole listed crew here. We're gonna make some spiked bourbon apple cider with a little bit of aromatics. We've got some blood orange here, some anise, and two kinds of cinnamon. And we got the apple cider half a block away in Union Square Market. I mean, it's such an amazing resource for fresh vegetables and any kind of produce. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just mix in a little bit of this. We're gonna bring this to a boil and then let that simmer for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna add the bourbon and enjoy. What do you guys think? Could I, can I guys have a little bit of help? Maybe just like mixing some of this stuff up? How many real estate brokers does it take to put things in a pot? Right? It's pretty long. It it's takes long. six. 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 six of us. You guys ready to eat some duck? We have about 10 pounds of duck. Are you guys excited to have some crispy duck skin? Yes. Duck, duck confit, some fall off the bone, amazing. Wow. And then some duck fat potatoes. Uh, one, I want to thank all of you guys for being a part of Listed, uh, the greatest real estate media network in the history of the known universe. Uh, some of your shows are now wrapping up the first season. They just wrapped up and they were killer successes. And then we've got new shows that are starting right now. Meals and Mansions, Verified Pads, and so much more. So cheers to you guys. Cheers to all our fans. Uh, and let's eat. Let's do it. All right. Cheers, all right. cheers guys. Oh, I'm drunk already. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us. It's the first episode of Meals in Mansions. We have a lot to go. We really have an amazing lineup of chefs, local neighborhood hidden gems, and it's gonna be an amazing season. And I wanna thank you guys. You guys have just wrapped up your seasons, the rest of Listed, the whole crew here, and Ryan, of course, for giving us all the opportunity. I mean, it's the holidays. We wanna be very thankful for that, and hope you guys will join us for the journey. Thanks so much. Subscribe. Subscribe or Is this your first swipe, episode or something? Swipe. Subscribe to Listed. Swipe, put your comments, like it. YouTube, do the YouTube Let's thing. Let's go. Meals and Mansions. You just got Listed. Let's go, everybody.